Hey guys, welcome to No Recipe Required. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to show. Hey guys, welcome back. Hey there, welcome to No Recipe Required. I'm Dave. Hope you're doing well tonight. So today I want to show you how to do a, a gnocchi and a pesto cream sauce. Um, really simple dish, especially if you do like I'm doing. I store bought my uh, store bought my gnocchi, so really it's just all about the pesto cream. Let's uh, let's go ahead. We'll make our pesto, then we'll make our sauce. We'll put it all together. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to blanch basil. Now, this is uh, this is what we're going to use for our pesto. But uh, you know, blanching is a technique that we should all learn, pick up. Here, I've obviously got a big bunch of herbs, and you can do this with a bunch of different uh, different herbs. I've got a pot of boiling salted water, and literally, you just drop that right in there. Give it a little stir, and what the blanching is going to do, it's actually going to cook the leaves, and Believe it or not, although the um, it's sitting in water, the blanching of the cooking is actually going to draw water out of the cells of the uh, of the basil, and really just kind of concentrate the flavor, break down those uh, the cell structures, and give it uh, or take away some of that raw taste. It really only takes you know 35 to 50 or so seconds, definitely under a minute, to do a blanch like this, provided you got the water nice and hot, which you should do. And then um, once you get it done, we're going to remove it, strain it, and then uh, run it under ice cold water to really set that bright green color. If you just kind of take it out, um, it'll turn a dull kind of um, uh, you know military green, puke green, which isn't uh, which isn't any good. All right, let's go ahead and make our basil. I've got my uh, my blanched spinach right here. I'm just going to. Um, you know, actually, I don't even need to drop it up or chop it up. You can um, kind of tear it up a little bit. Um, if you got some of the thicker stems, you know, beating beating those up a little might uh, might help a little bit. But you don't need to do a whole lot to it. I've also got my uh, my toasted pine nuts. Um, I'm going to use what is that? Half a handful, um, probably a tablespoon and a half, at least to start with. I've got a few in reserve. Um, I'm also going to add some Parmesan cheese. This is, um, again, probably two good tablespoons there. And then we'll hit it with some olive oil. A good amount. So the olive oil plus a little bit of water is going to provide the blender with enough liquid to actually spin and really combine all these ingredients. We also want to season a little bit with salt and with pepper. And then I also like to add just a little bit of lemon juice to mine. You know, really half a teaspoon or so. Certainly to start with. You're not looking for um, obviously a lemon tasting sauce, but I find the acid from the um, from the lemon helps keep everything a little bit greener. And uh, and I also like the uh, the brightness that the acidity gives the uh, gives the pesto. So I'm going to go ahead and start pulsing this. and let everything just kind of come together and form that nice paste. Once it does, we'll, uh, we'll come back and take a look. Okay, so we've gotten a nice little grate down. Now, first thing you want to do, you may have to, uh, you may have to scrape down the sides if, um, if you find it sticking around, but you want to give it a little taste. See if it needs anything. This actually, it tastes pretty good um, as it is. I don't know if you noticed when I stir it up, I actually think this, um, this pesto is a little bit um, looser than what I would normally expect. I must have uh, you know, just put in a little bit extra water. But you know, not a huge deal. We can, uh, we can deal with that. One, it'll still be great if you use it as is. Two, if you add a few more nuts and maybe a little bit more cheese, that will uh, that'll help thicken it up. And finally, when I tasted it, I uh, it, it was great, but I found it could use still a little bit more, uh, a little bit more of that bite, a little bit more acid. So I'm going to touch it up with a little more lemon, and then we're going to go ahead and just blend it up again. Okay, pesto is done. You want to, uh, of course, give it another taste. Make sure, make sure it uh, meets your approval. This one does. So, as I said in the beginning, I messed up on my basil. Um, I forgot to add any garlic. Now, normally I would chop a clove of garlic, throw it in the blender, blend it all together. That obviously gives a nice garlicky flavor. 
to the uh, to the dish. But since I forgot it, what are you going to do? You can do a couple things. Um, one, forget it. Um, just go ahead and serve it as is. It'll still be delicious. Option two, we know how to mince garlic. That's on the site as well. I've just got a, a clove here that I finely minced and uh, just put it in afterwards. You know, you can even add this back to your blender. Throw in a clove of garlic and get it in there. I, uh, I've already put the blender away, so, you know, don't worry about it. Don't tell anybody. Nobody's going to know other than you. It'll be totally fine. Okay, to make our pesto and um, cream sauce, I've got my pesto that I uh, made up just a couple hours earlier. Stuck it in a nice little Tupperware container, threw it in the fridge. Uh, you do want to make sure you seal it so it stays nice and green. So keep that air away from it. And then I added about a uh, third of a pint or so of cream, heavy cream, to a pan here. And this is this is for how we prefer uh, for one person. Um, I'm going to let the cream just simmer away. Be careful not to boil it over. Simmer away until it's reduced by about half. Then we're going to add um, our pesto once it's reduced and we'll have our pesto cream sauce. So let's go ahead and make our pesto sauce. I've got my, uh, I've got my cream seasoned to where I want it. I'm going to keep the heat low and I'm going to add some of my pesto. Now you're probably asking how much pesto? Well, how much do you like basil? I just added maybe two tablespoons and I'm just going to gently stir that in and obviously you're going to see everything turn a nice green color. Um, if, um, you know, if, if you're in doubt, uh, give it a taste. You know, I can't really tell you your taste. Um, easiest thing to do, add it in, stir it up and see if it hits, uh, hits the spot for you. This one I actually think is right on. So I'm going to leave that as is. That's a, uh, that's a pesto cream sauce. I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required.